Here's the change that Betaflight 4.5 made to angle mode that I hate. You see, until now, when you deflected the stick in angle mode, the angle that the quadcopter went to was directly and linearly proportional to the deflection of the stick. So for example, if the quadcopter's maximum tilt angle was, uh, let's say 50 degrees, just to keep the math simple, that would mean that full stick deflection was 50 degrees, and half stick deflection was 25 degrees, and so on and so on. But some people didn't like that. They said, Expo works so good in acro mode. Why can't I also have an Expo curve when I'm in angle mode? So little bits of stick deflection give me lots of precision, and then full stick deflection just bangs me over to the maximum tilt angle. And in fact, flight control software like Emu Flight did just that. They gave you an Expo parameter for angle mode. But Betaflight didn't do that. Betaflight 4.5 went one step further. In Betaflight 4.5, when you switch to angle mode, your exact same rate curve that you had in acro mode applies to angle mode. And I've got to tell you, I'm not sure that I appreciate this change because like, it feels like I am having to deflect the sticks a lot. Do you see that in my stick overlay, it shows me it's going nearly to full stick deflection. I'm not really there. The stick overlay doesn't have a ton of resolution, but like I'm at maybe 60, 75% stick deflection and I've barely tilted over. It feels like this is way lower rates than I would really like. But then when I go to full stick, oh my God, now we're just freaking trucking. There's this giant, dip at the end, this giant spike at the end of my stick travel where the quad just goes ah, off, the, off the wall. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to have two separate rate curves, one for angle and one for acro mode, so that you can set them up exactly how you like them. And those rate profiles are gonna be key to doing that. See, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell Betaflight to switch rate profiles based on what mode we're in, and then we will be able to, you know, customize those to our heart's content. Now, before we get into this, I'm going to assume that you have a controller and that you have set up a switch to switch you from acro to angle mode and so on. And I've already done that. Here is the switch. Uh, you do not need to be using the same controller that I have. I'm using the Radio Master Boxer. You can be using any Edge TX radio. So uh, any Radio Master radio, any jumper radio, many Free Sky radios, uh, especially older ones, any radio running Edge TX can do this. Some of them, your screen will look a little different than mine. Like if you have a Radio Master TX 16S with a great big color touch screen, then you won't see the exact same thing that you'll see here on my smaller Boxer screen. But the general structure of the menus is gonna be the same. You may just have a little bit more colorful and bigger buttons to push than I do. Hopefully you'll be able to follow along. So the first place we need to go is the adjustments tab. And if you don't see the adjustments tab, you may need to enable expert mode here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Until you enable expert mode, the adjustments tab is not available. And the in-flight adjustments let you change certain parameters of the flight controller while you're flying based on your aux channels. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we will just enable, if enabled, and we will need to pick an aux channel. And that's gonna need to be the same aux channel that you use to switch between angle and acro mode. By the way, you do need to have angle and acro mode on the same switch in order to do this, I'm pretty sure. If for some reason you've got angle mode like on a two position, will that work? It might work. Let's assume that you've got like a three position switch where one is angle, one is acro, and, and well, in my case, one is turtle mode and they're not split between multiple switches. So I need to identify that aux channel and the easiest place to do that is in the receiver tab. I'm just gonna move that switch and look at what aux channel moves. And in my case, it is aux two that is moving when I flip that switch. So I'm gonna go to adjustments. I'm gonna say if enabled aux two. And then for is in range, I'm gonna drag this entire thing to cover the whole range and then apply and the uh, thing that I'm going to apply is rate profile selection via channel aux2. Select the same channel again. That's your basic setup. And without going into too many details about all the intricacies of in-flight adjustments, if I save that, don't forget to save it, and then click over to the PID tuning tab, watch what happens with the rate profile. When I move this switch, it goes rate profile one, 
Rate profile two, rate profile three, two, one, two, three. So now all I need to do is flip that switch up into acro mode, which in my case, the, the acro mode is when the switch is in the up position. I'm gonna go to the rate profile settings and I'm gonna set up my acro rates. Then I'll flip that switch and now we are in angle mode. At least that's in my case, it's middle position is angle mode. For beta flight rates to get a linear rate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the rate parameter to zero, the expo parameter to zero, and then I don't even think it matters what the max vel is, max velocity, because really we just want a linear curve. The actual, there's no such thing as a rotational rate when you're in angle mode. So I think we're good here. If on the other hand, you are using actual rates, which most people are gonna be using because that's what Betaflight switched to some time ago, to get a linear rate, what you do is set the center sensitivity to be the same value as the uh, max rate and have zero expo. And either way, you're gonna get a linear curve. Um, great, so now when I'm in angle mode, I have a linear curve, or if you want to, you can add some expo. Try it, feel it out, fly it, find what works for you. But you have a different rates when you're in angle versus when you're in acro, yay. And then the third position here is turtle mode. And again, I don't think rates matter when you're in turtle mode, but I might wanna copy my freestyle rates or my, my normal rates uh, over. In fact, I can go to rate profile. Well, I can only do it with the switch. I can go to rate profile one and copy this rate profile to rate profile three, which is turtle mode, just in the interest of safety. Rate profile two, rate profile three. Bingo. There you go. Now I have custom rates depending on whether I'm in angle mode or not, and I can do whatever I want. If you like this kind of content and you want to learn more about Betaflight 4.5, I have a whole playlist going through the new features of Betaflight 4.5 and testing them out. And the two videos I think you'll be most interested in are the one where I showed you how to set up GPS rescue in Betaflight 4.5 and the one where I showed the major changes to angle and horizon mode. If you wanna check out those videos, uh, I'll put cards on screen to both of them. And they're actually part of a playlist that this video is also in. And there's gonna be a link to that playlist in the video description if you wanna see all my Betaflight 4.5 content. I will see you there.